Everybody, and your boy Bread Pudding Official. Today I am tired, and I am recording this for a second time. Today we are facing freaking dashing septile, and it is 11:48 p.m. and I'm supposed to upload this in two days. <sighs> okay, I'm closing my eyes right now. I'm just gonna. Whew. Okay. Um, yeah, before everything, um, I'm gonna play explain this for the second time. For way free, or for this week, we changed some stuff for our team. We didn't change much. Um, we changed from our terror captains from Rotom, um, Rotom to Hatterene and Dedene. We are gonna make some tr more trades next week, but for this week, we have those. We have how do we never did any answer terror captains? But yeah, we are facing Death Chain Septile this week. And it's pretty much a um It's pretty much um free we both we all yeah we both have Quadzire, the Dunce Bars, and Dragon Bolt, so it's pretty much a mirror match almost. Not exactly because he has some more defensive tools. Huh. Like Dodonzo, Dodonzo, Do -do Dozo, Bozo, or maybe the Sunfish, the Sunflowerfish, the freaking Chiyu. Um, we decide to Volt Switch if this thing is not Scarfed. We get some good information if it's Scarfed, and it kills me. Oh well, at least you know that you're Scarfed, and we have some very good information. So yeah, we decide to go for the freaking Volt Switch, revealing that we are probably Scarfed if they are max speed. We do cover the Volt Switch, we do get the crit, do half HP to the Sunflower Fish thingy, um, Chiyu, um, we go into the quads at your check, um, it's, it's not a counter, but it's a check. We take the Dark Holes and it does half. Which is not, not, no, 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 I don't want it to do that much, but, um, yeah, she use out, I don't think Dashy knows how much, um, freaking Dark Bulls does, so he's probably thinking if she swap out or not, we're just gonna go for Earthquake Bits, who cares at this point, and we're just, we're just gonna try to get some damage on this freaking Chiyu, and it's gonna be hype, and we're gonna leg it. We're gonna give the kill to you. We're gonna be the lead. We're gonna be so good. We're gonna be chilling. Yeah. We're gonna. Oh. They have benches in the background? Oh my goodness. Those are some cool benches. I did not know there was any benches. Cool. Oh, cat. But, um, yeah. They swap out the freaking sunflower fish. The freaking Chiyu. They go into Donald the Duck. We go for the EQ. And then this is not gonna do that much to the freaking duck. And we're like, okay, cool. I don't want to be Terra Ground or Terra Ice and kill Quadzire if she is still in the back. It's like, no way, Jose. We're gonna go in for a freaking to Dun Sparse. Even though. It is weak to fighting. We have a chopper berry, so we're gonna take at least one and we get some good information what item you are. So we're gonna go freaking straight into the, um, the Dun Sparse. Hoping for not close combat, but if it's close combat, I guess we're vibing, I guess we're chilling, I guess we're doing whatever. But, um, they go for the freaking Terra Duck into the Terra Flying, and at this point, I'm like, okay, cool, you're not Terra Ground, you're not Terra Eyes. Um, Quadzire is vibing, Quadzire is chilling, we're fine. They go for a substitute, I'm like, oh no, oh no, the Dun Sparse, oh no. We're about, you're about to get sent to another dimension by a sword against close combat. And then the Dun Sparse is about to die and I'm about to get swept. Oh no, oh no. But yeah, we go for the body swim right now. Um, trying to break the sub. We could at least take one close combat. Um, if they sword stance, I think we still take another close combat. If they go for the roost, trying to gain back some HP. 
And I'm like, okay, I wish it's not close combat. I guess we're vibing. I guess we're chilling. Body slam, go burr. And yeah, substitute fades. Holy shit, it's 11.56. Why am I recording this right now? But nonetheless, um, we go for another body slam. I'm like, okay, cool, man. Cool. Well, we could possibly get a pair of this thing. You substitute, you sacrifice more of your damage, and then I'm okay with that. But if you close combat, we give a para. We're in a really good position, but they end up swapping. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, who do you go into? And they go into Francis the Lethion. And the Lethion is gonna take this body slam very, very well. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, you're defensive Lethion. Okay, let's get up our rocks. We know you're defensive Leaf Leafeon, so we, we're not, we know that you're not gonna do that much to a freaking the Dunsparce. And I'm just vibing here, based out of Leech Chief. I'm like, who cares? The Dunsparce is has a roost anyways. We're fine. We're good. We're just gonna set up these rocks. Like, okay. Um, Leafeon is pretty fat, pretty scary. And, yeah. So I'm like, okay. Okay. You're back up pretty much full HP. I think it's a little bit under. But, um, I'm like, okay. We could just go to Rotom here. I'm thinking about it for a little bit. But I'm just like, okay, go to Rotom here. Um, Leafeon without Terra Rock and not really touch Rotom that well. So I'm like, I guess you could body slam, but you can't even pair me. So Rotom is just kind of good here. But I go for the Leaf Blade here, and I'm like, okay. Um,. Overheat, best play here. You know, hindsight, I could have probably went for both switch to gain some momentum, but it's okay, I guess. If we could kill this Leafeon, it's fine. We're good, I guess, if we kill this Leafeon. At the same time, we're not gonna be good if we kill this Leafeon. So it's gonna be interesting if we kill this Leafeon or not. Because they know I'm scarfed, so they can easily take advantage of that, and we actually do kill the Leafeon. Anyway, okay, cool, Leafeon dead. Um, but now what uh, I'm scarfed in I'm scarfed into overheat and I'm in a pretty not amazing position Because Palt or something or Chiyu or whatever could set up a nasty part or drag me on me and easily sweep me and I'm like uh oh uh oh I made bad decision I made very bad decision and then go into the dragon I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, oh no, this is a dragon pole. I'm in a bad position. That's okay. Um, I know you're gonna go for dragon dance, so we can just go under dust bars here. Like, yeah, because um, based on my counts, we can take dragon darts pretty well. Plus, with dragon darts, doesn't do that much. We can revenge the shadow ball. And like, okay, you dragon dance, I guess. So, I'm like, okay, we get this free Shadow Ball off. This is pretty decent. We get this really, really good Shadow Ball off. And, yeah, so we just go for Shadow Ball. And, dashing is thinking for a little bit. Um, yeah. Shadow Ball is pretty much the best play here. I can't really think of another good play. And,. What is Dashi thinking? At this point, I was feeling decent about the position I'm in. Even if you set up another dragon here, I'm like, okay. The dodge bars could take, could take a hit. It could take a hit. So we go for Shadow Ball. I'm like, okay. We could go this Dragon Ball right here. That's pretty pog. We're vibing. We're chilling. Well, we're okay with the position right here. And yeah, we just go for another Shadow Ball because Shadow Ball good and Shadow Ball good play and we good if we go for Shadow Ball. We go for darts. Uh oh, they crit. That's not good. Because if they have if it wasn't that crit, they done a max of 
gone. That's not good. But it's okay. Hattery could always take one out of a 252 Phantom Force. And we're always in a good position. But yeah, they go for a Phantom Force. And I'm like, cool. We could have a first Dragon Kiss right here. But, and this is because of Phantom Force. And like, okay, we take the Phantom Force. Oh, okay, I guess we know. Um, that's cool. Yeah, that's unfortunate. And I'm not having any sugar cone even more. Um, yeah, we lose this game. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, for sure. But I'm not, I'm gonna, I'll explain, I'll explain my, explain my last city, my last time I did this video. But if I be honest, I think that like, even though it doesn't look like it, you know, I'm like, you know, it's like, oh dang, hack scoper. But it's more like, I think I could've probably had crap better. I could've brought Scissor if I brought Scissor in this position and stuff instead of my Kalucha. I would have been in a decent position to bull punches, drag colt, and still be in, I would not be in an amazing position here. But it would have given me a little more security so I just didn't straight up lose a game like this. So like yeah. Um now my mom's do anything else. And just props to dashing and honestly because like um dashing found one condition. He knew that the um thing was scarf. I wrote him a scarf that took advantage of it and was just able to um, set up when I had a wrote out and just take advantage of the scarf, which I will definitely take into consideration in my next battles, not just against dashing, but like, I think just against everybody that like, don't try not to realize um, my choice items early because then my opponent, like, right now will try to get take advantage of him. So props to Dashing, he played very, very well here. Um, but yeah, even what hacks happened, it was my fault. It was my fault that this happened because like I could have definitely prepped better. You know, people say that like with hacks you can't really, you can't really prep for it. In this instance, I could easily prep for that. Um, freaking, freaking, freaking. I, 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 I would have indirectly prepped for it because like. I think Scissor had a really good matchup here, and I was too fixated, I'm like, okay, Dodonzo, I could set up Source Dance and Kalucha, so like, I was just too fixated on that, and even with Dodonzo, I had some options, like Choice by Dragon Bolt kind of, I want to say murders it, but it does really good against it, so I had options, and I think Scissor would like, give it a new turn, so I don't think Kalucha was that necessary that match, so I definitely could have kind of prep better for it by bringing my priority just in case that happens so I could try to bring Dragon Ball well enough or Bull Punch to KO which is like simple things like that um again um props to Dash and he positioned himself very very well here I wouldn't say to be honest I think before before the crits I was in a decent position like I wouldn't say I was like a winning position or anything but I would say I was in a okay position not to like what, straight up won the game, but kind of like continue the game, um, getting some more momentum, kill some more mobs if I needed. But yeah, um, I'm tired. Um, yeah, DJ and dashing, he played very, very well there. I think I played pretty decent there for. I, did, I think I could have definitely made some better plays. Like, I think both switching with Rotom could have been better, and I just think about that. But I don't think. I think personally I played way worse last week than this week, but yeah, um, that's all I have. I'm going to take that nap now, and I'm going to be happy about it, and yeah, um, thank you for watching. Woo!